welcome back to Touch Base Weekly News Round with yours truly, Mames. If you're back... Hello, motherfucker. If you're new, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. So, let's get into the first segment. What's the word? So, guys, first we have M. Huncho, who was burning his mask on TikTok and had everybody wondering what he was up to. Let's have a little look. To Instagram to say new year, new plan, new album, new energies, new mask. If you're with me, you're with me. If you're not, fuck it. Used to roll with stones, now we're rolling stones. We're at Rolling Stones UK. Big shout out to Lucian Clark for seeing the vision. So I feel like with this new mask, he might even also maybe bring a new style of music because, you know, we're used to the melodic type of sound and stuff like that. So, yeah, big up him and, you know, his mask looks quite cool. Let's have a look at that. But swiftly moving on. So next we have Nina with the Nina out of jail you know let's have a little look at um him coming out of jail as you can see he looked quite rough when he first came out and then he looked real smooth so the transition was nice i'm hoping he gets back to the music which obviously he will and um give us some new stuff like i feel like people have missed him people have missed his style so yeah he was out last week and we're looking forward to big things but swiftly moving on so guys next we have shasha and crep at each other's necks on Instagram. So Nala, their daughter, obviously um, they've made a face um, Instagram page for her, which I love, love, love the Instagram page. Nala is just so adorable. I'm definitely part of the Auntie Navy. But anyway, um, a recent picture was posted where Nala looked like this, looking all cute. And then the caption was, the look you give when you know somebody lying. Which I thought was kind of funny, because that is the look that you give. Then Sasha must have commented, the look you give your daddy when he says, meet your new stepmom. And then Crept commented, lol, wow, who's the kid here, you or Nala? Listen to me, both of you, stop it. Stop it. I really like this duo. So I don't like this type of arguing. Andrea, that's not actually nice. In. They was good together and I'm just hoping that like well as far as I saw they were good co-parenting So when did it go left? Stop it Nah, not on Nala's picture as well. We're not gonna do that, but I really hope that they sort out their problem, but That was just a little bit of rough waters for them for this week But I'm sure they're gonna get back together. Nala's so beautiful and Nala can make anybody get along but anyway Moving on to so obviously as usual as I say on this channel we are not haters so we're gonna have a look at the chart wins um this week and as far as I can notice Starlight is still up there at number one on the singles chart so that's three weeks in a row by the way three weeks in a row charting so big up Dave as I said I love Starlight um baby with h and ashanti um yeah i think that's lit peru is still there which is mad because this is the 15th week that they've been on the charts and um i think others are on there as well but they're not on the top 10 they're underneath the top 10 but big up everyone that's been on the charts this week for album charts we have Peer Pressure, which is at number two. And Ed Sheeran is still up there with Equal at number four, which has been on the charts for now 21 weeks. That's that's crazy to me. That is very crazy to me. And then that's it for the chart win, so. Everybody that's on it and everybody that's coming on it, 
and yeah book up yourselves always moving on swiftly so this food for thought guys was actually from a musician himself it was from young ads from dbe and this is what he had to say you are going to lose in life you're gonna lose a fight lose a woman lose a war lose money etc just don't lose your mind stay strong don't let it humble you you dig um, I agree with that. Like, I feel like the more you um, accept that you're gonna lose in life, the more that you're gonna win. So losing is like, it's, lo losing is nothing to take as a, you know, a big thing. You know, the biggest people in this world, they lose. So I think that was a good piece of advice that he gave out to people. But you guys let me know what you think down below in the comments about what he has said. Do you think that losing in life is a good thing? Or do you think that losing in life, you just can't risk it? Let me know, guys. But unfortunately, my good friends, it's come to the end again. So as usual, stay great, stay blessed. Make sure you plug yourself in to Base Lab, as I always tell you, because you know that Live in the Labs be popping and their singles that they're produced be even better. And as I said, make sure you go and check out Zara at Touch Base as well. She does amazing interviews. But until next week, guys, drink your water, mind your business, stay out of people's business, unless it's Base Lab's business. Till next week, guys. Bye.